What's up, guys? Bitchin' and Bassin' fam, aka the squad. So what are we doing? Instead of heading away from the city like we're usually doing, we're headed right downtown, baby. Right with the morning traffic. Let's get to the ramp, get everything loaded up, and I will see you when we are putting in the water. So let's go. If you haven't already, come on and subscribe, y'all. Jeep, you know the sticker. You can see the sticker on the back window there. Sorry for the camera work. You guys see me out honk the horn. Let me know. Bitches in Amazon. Or if, you, if you're hating, do that too. Honk the horn. Understand niggas is going to hate you regardless. Oh, let me know. Let me know, homie. Let me know you down with the B&B squad. Give me two honks. Give me a quick. Beep, beep. All right, so we get launched and we head north to our first spot. But before we do that, we stop at the point to appease the Yinzer guys and back on the way to our first spot up north. So we pull up spot number one, it's right where the Chartier's Creek dumps out into the Ohio River and every species in the area is hitting at the surface. Now our target is smallmouth, so after missing four or five bites on a spook, we ended up switching over to the plopper and we ended up getting two little dinks into the boat. Alright, before we hit the next spot, big boy needs his big boy snack. <laughs> and then it's back south to where is my number one spot where it's a guaranteed sideways worm. You're getting a bite. Wait, hold up. The boys won. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> that is most definitely up there for one of my most weirdest river excursions. So if you got any weird river experiences, definitely share the juice in the comments. But like I was telling y'all, this is my money sideways worm spot, the wacky rig spot. There's always, there's this little wall, there's always a bunch of smallmouth, uh, like bunched up. Uh, I caught three, I probably missed a bite or two, just listening for splashes. <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry, I had to. But yeah, like I said, three de decent little river smallies. And then uh, after this, after I couldn't get them to bite anymore, I noticed some topwater action just in front of these barges because this wall is right at the end of these barges. So basically another bridge up or so, we see some topwater action. So I fire the whopper plopper up there on the wall where the action is. And even though we get bites after this, this turns out to be our last fish. Even though it's a beautiful day, we gotta get off the water before the tune goes. And I, I swear I know how to drive a boat, guys. Get out here in numbers. So if anybody knows and has a boat, you know down by the point can get a little risky with other boaters. So if we were somewhere else, maybe we would uh, stay a little longer. But we are gonna get Beatrice loaded up and on the boat. And we'll see you guys next time. I'd tell you to subscribe, but you know what? I don't care. So, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Appreciate the BNB fam that's been there. BNB.